Hi, welcome to part five of my video series on creating content for your online business using free software. Now, so far we've had a look at creating free reports and eBooks using OpenOffice. We've created some web pages using Enview, and we've prepared images for the web and for use in information products using the GIMP image manipulation program. Yesterday we were using Audacity to look at creating MP3 files and podcasting, and now finally today we get to look at video. Now, unless you've been living on Mars for the last couple of years, you can't help to have noticed the rise in video online, and it's so easy to see why. It really is the most powerful medium. It literally allows you to look over the shoulder of the person who's talking to you and see exactly what they're trying to show you. Now, it doesn't matter if you're creating a tutorial like this, uh, reviewing an affiliate product, or taking a look at one of your own products or businesses, video really is the best way of getting your message across. But until fairly recently, it was fairly difficult to produce, you needed some specialist software and, uh, and hardware, and it was expensive to host. Now, the days of that had gone, and today I'm going to show you how to create video using completely free software, and I'm going to show you how to upload it and host it for free as well. Okay, now, the software we're going to be using today is called Cam Studio. The good news is it's free, the bad news, unfortunately, is it's PC only. So if you're on the Mac, you're going to need to use um, some alternative software. Now, if you're watching this video just now on my blog, then the links to Cam Studio and for the alternative video um, software for the Mac are down below the video, so you can click and download those in a moment. If you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, then head over to www.online-business-logic.com and not only will you find those download links, but you'll find the rest of this series and a whole bunch more content about running a successful online business as well. So with that in mind, let's get straight into the, into the tutorial. Okay, so after you install Cam Studio, this is the screen that you'll see. Um, I told you it was simple software, and it really is. If we click on the file menu up here, what you'd expect to see is perhaps open and save and save as and those sort of options. And we literally just get options to record, stop, pause, and exit. And it really doesn't get much simpler than that. Uh, but before we get started actually making a recording, there's just a couple of setup um, tasks that we need to do first of all. So first of all, from the region menu, we can choose which part of the screen it is that we want to record. Um, you do get the option, obviously, of full screen, but if we're going to be implementing this and publishing this video to the internet, we probably don't want to use full screen. Um, the reason being is the screen's just too large, and by the time it's compressed down to the sort of size which is suitable for, for publishing on a blog uh, or for uploading to YouTube, it's going to get too squashed. So what I suggest you do is click on Fixed Region, now, if we're uploading to YouTube, YouTube has a native video resolution of 320 by 240. But um, I'll just show you that that's actually rather a little bit too small. So this is 320 by 240, this box. Um, as you can see, you're not going to get an awful lot of content in there. So if I just um, select OK, and I'll just cancel that for a moment. Um, what I suggest you do is you actually double those figures. So let's go. 640 by 480 and that should give us a reasonable size um, that we can have in terms of content on the screen and when it's compressed down onto YouTube it won't look squashed because it, the, the proportions are the same uh, and it should give us a, a reasonably clear image okay so the next thing we need to do is set up our audio so options um, audio options and we're going to be recording from a microphone so that we can speak over our video so click on audio options for microphone and select the capture device just the same as we did yesterday in Audacity if we were podcasting. Now I'm not actually going to select it just for now um, because I'm using my microphone to, to make this video um, but just to t let you know that's what you need to do and you'd also want to go to options and I've got do not record audio selected you want to record from microphone nine times out of ten. Okay and the last thing that we want to do is, is select some keyboard shortcuts this will just make it a bit easier so what I suggest you do um, don't worry too much about the others, but you definitely want a record button, so I've selected enter, okay, and a stop button as well. So if every time I hit enter, it's going to start a new recording. When I click space, it's going to stop. And there we go, that's all the setup done, and we can literally go right ahead and make a recording. So if I hit the enter key, there we go, it's now going to allow me to select which part of the screen I'm going to um, going to record. And you can see at the top of this bounding box, it's got there 640 by 480, which is the size that we selected. So you'd select the application you want to record, click the left mouse button, and there we go, that's actually recording. Um, what you'll see in the top and bottom corners is this green and yellow flashing um, graphic. 
that's letting me know that it is recording everything that's going on in the middle now. And if I click stop or hit the space bar, it's now going to prompt me to save the file. I'm just going to call it uh, test3. And there we go, it's going to save and it's going to open up a preview player box. So if I click play, we can see that that's exactly what I recorded just now, including the mouse movements as well. You can see the mouse is moving here. Okay, so I told you it was simple. There we go. That's how to make a, a screen recording. But there's a couple of little things we can do to just uh, sort of make things uh, make things a bit more professional and uh, give us a bit more value. So the first thing is, Cam Studio doesn't give us an awful lot of editing um, facility. So what I suggest you do is you create some some sort of backdrop. Now actually, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we go, this is the backdrop that I used at the beginning for the splash of this particular video. Now I did this in Photoshop, but you could just as easily use uh, the GIMP that we talked about a couple of days ago, um, or a word processor like OpenOffice. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, literally just um, a title and some branding, that's the important part, because if people are watching this on YouTube or another site, you want them to know that you're the one who created the content, and you want them that if they like the video, they're going to come back and... Uh, eventually come back to your blog or your website. So what I suggest you do is you create this up, use this at the beginning of your video, and then if you're careful with the way that you produce this, let me just uh, turn that off, you can bring the application that you're recording about, uh, so today I'm talking about Cam Studio, I'm going to bring that to the forefront, I can actually do my recording and what will happen is that my branding is in the background all the way through. So there we go, that's, that's how we create um, videos in Cam Studio. Now the next thing I want to do is show you very very quickly the best possible way of hosting these videos because hosting your own videos can be expensive and it's certainly it's going to use up a lot of uh, bandwidth and that sort of thing on your hosting. So what I suggest you do is use YouTube and I'm sure YouTube doesn't need an awful lot of an introduction. Um, most people would have heard about it. It's by far the biggest uh, video site on the web. It's free to join. You know you can see that I'm logged in here at the moment um, but if you weren't logged in, then there'd be um, a register button up here. So click register and click on the upload button, which is this one here, to upload your video. And it will create a page something like this for you. Now, here's the well, two reasons that, that uh, YouTube is so useful. is First of all, uh, people will find your video content. And if your branding's here, uh, as it is on mine, as you can see, this is the video I put up yesterday. Hopefully anyone that watches this video and likes the video and, and, and likes the content will see that branding and come through to my site. But the other thing that's important is over here, you see where it says embed, and underneath it there's some HTML code. If we click in here, I can actually copy and paste that into my blog or into a website and let YouTube host the video where we still get the benefit of it. So there we go, that is creating a screencast uh, video. I hope you've enjoyed today's um, tutorial. In fact, I hope you've enjoyed the whole series. If you have done, please head over to onlinebusinesslogic.com. Um, you can see the web, um, the domain just there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of these. And also, if you've got any suggestions for further content, for further tutorials, let me know. Uh, leave a comment on the blog. I will get back to you. That's me signing off, and have a good day.